our um, next big topic here that we're going to talk about is the death of the shared universe. Now, I've seen quite a few people comment about this, and uh, I think this is valid criticism. No one has been able to do it besides Marvel, and I think we're officially now with the DCEU and all that, seeing the death of the shared universe. I disagree. Kevin Smith did it. I can't tell if you're trolling me or not. All his, all his movies were connected. True, but... <laughs> He's the only other person in history to put out. Like me, personally, I don't think that's going to happen. It's just that most of, these, uh, most of these companies don't want to take the time to actually flesh anything out. And it's just they see what you know Marvel, Marvel has been able to do so far is that what's the quickest way we could copy that and just mm. basically bang off the money. But it hasn't worked out so far because people want to see things build up and uh, and characters mature and see where they go from point A to point B over time, not just here's this character, this is what happens. Mm. You know, here's the end product for that character. Well, like, and that is, that is fundamentally the problem. Like Marvel had to get everything done right yeah and they had to get everything connected everything perfect because this was their last ditch effort and if this didn't succeed they were fucked what? other studios like warner brothers aren't in that position so True. they could just rush to the end goal and get that quote avengers money and also and that... don't forget it wasn't disney that did it right it was marvel because Disney stepped in with Iron Man 2. They started meddling yep. towards the production. But Thor and Captain America, they didn't care much about because they were like, well, if these movies are so cheap, we're not going to meddle with them. But go touch this one because we know what we're doing. And then they saw the backlash and went, you know what? Hands off. Do your thing. We're not going to meddle with this, which is why it succeeded. So, And you see kind of elements of this when um, other studios like Disney's having trouble with it with Star Wars uh, to a degree because people are just going, why is this? And the ultimate one this week is they announced a brand new Dracula movie. And surprise, really? surprise, it's not connected to the shared Drac the shared human monsters universe. Yeah. Well that that's never gonna happen there. No, no, that I think that franchise is it's more yeah. like I mean, sure, Europe and China saved the mummy because god damn it, but I honestly don't we think they like can recover. Mummies. I don't know what to tell you. We like mummies. So. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was Tom Cruise. <laughs> I told Chris. Hey, so, See, if, you, if it was an underworld movie, that would have made a fucking killing. Oh here. yeah. <laughs> like I love it. The underworld and Resident Evil movies are by the book. They say spend no more than fifty three million, and you're gonna make a hundred and ninety back. And every movie they do the same thing and always make the same profit. Like those movies are just like on a. It's like a printing factory over there. They're like made in a freaking, you know, vacuum. Like it's And I will fully admit I am part of that problem. I fucking love the underworld movies. <laughs> well, it's becoming a TV series, if you remember, so <laughs> like, But it's, it's really weird even for like the Resident Evil franchises that over on the east they like their white women and explosions. Mm. Yeah. Well who doesn't who doesn't like white women I and mean, explosions? It, that, that didn't save ghosts in this show, but Oh. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so where do you see the shared universe concept i'm gonna call it going forward from this it do you actually see it like being able to sustain itself for the visible future because i personally i i don't think i think studios are now warner brothers is pulling away from it already i think mm -hmm. uh, like the only other one that could potentially be a success is the legendary um kaiju the universe because for what it is that they, they have established that you know godzilla has been around for a while and so has kong to a mm -hmm. certain extent but isn't kong a, like a newer kong like isn't there hasn't there been a line of kongs in that yeah they're, they're on the island there's like a line of kongs and this yeah. current one to make him bigger they just said he was uh basically a child yep. so he's gonna grow oh okay wait have you not yeah. seen the new kong no, I haven't, no. Oh, I love that movie I, so I, much. I don't go out to watch the kaiju movies. I wait till they, like, come to me. Like, it's like, I, I'll watch them, I enjoy them, but I'm not going to go out my way to watch No them. joke, Kong Skull Island is my favorite movie this year. I don't think it's the best. It's definitely not. But the enjoyment I get out of watching that movie, because it's the stupidest, most, like, just... <laughs> ridiculous kaiju thing you could want it's not like godzilla where they don't focus on the title character it's like no no you want to see king kong rip shit up 
that's what you're getting. I'm like, hell yeah, I do. Like it's, they deliver <laughs> what they promise, you know? They, it, 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 I always thought it looked good. So I'm not going to sit here and say, no, I'm not going to watch it. But yeah. I'll just wait for but, it to be on demand. But there's also the problem with the whole thing because Tristan brings it up and that's true, but that's apparently ending once the crossover is done. Like how do you, once you cross these I don't beasts think, over. I think if that movie does well, they'll, they'll do something with it. You'd think they'd no. have to, right? <laughs> it would. It would have to because even like if we go back to where kaiju movies, kaiju movies started from in Japan, companies have tried to do crossover movies if it was profitable because, like, they tried doing Gamera and Godzilla, but they couldn't come to an agreement because yeah. of the. Because of the, but basically, it just came down to money to see which company would, would get how much of the percentage. Mm-hmm. See, here's the thing. Like you, you wait after the crossover. The next thing they'll do is they'll do Pacific Rim thing, and well, no, just get the way. Godzilla just comes through a rift. <laughs> I honestly yeah, think not? the Pacific Rim crossover would make a lot of sense. They'll be like, we dove through the rift, but something went wrong. A solar flare hit us because science fiction, and now we're here. Got to fight Godzilla yeah. and Kong. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'll take it. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> And then you just do stuff like that. Like, if Power Rangers was actually good and successful, you could have had a Power Rangers crossover. You oh, know? yeah. Fuck it. Let's bring in Voltron and do <laughs> Let's just go crazy with these, like, kaiju movies. I wish so bad. So, so bad. Because I love the whole kaiju concept. But I, I honestly think that now that you see DC has announced, you know, oh, we're probably we're doing all these spinoffs and other people have come out being like, oh, Warner Brothers is taking all these pitches for standalone movies. I think... You're going to slowly start to see people back away from that idea because they don't want to invest the time. And it it hurts them in the long run when it comes to the reviews because people are like, well, this doesn't match up. So, you know, didn't get a point. It's like, ah. Uh, yeah. You know, and- it's just that floor of like, it's something they don't like. Studios like to cut corners and do something quickly. Yep. And the shared universe concept by nature, you can't rush it. Exactly. You have- Take your time with it, and it's just like, well, we're not going to put our money in to get this. No, 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 no. It's just like, okay, well, yeah, like, you'll get more money in the long run than you would in the short term, but it doesn't well, matter to them, you know. Like yeah. the, the suit doesn't even know what you're talking about. He just wants profit tomorrow before the quarter ends, and you're like, but this is going to take five years, and he goes, five years, I could be dead by then. I, I'm taking my like, to too. stay alive, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's. It's a rush job, but shared universes, I'm assuming we're going to keep talking uh, about them here on CBC for the very distant future. Yeah, you could probably see, like, the shared universe being really, like, condensed to certain franchises because they, you know, like I said, took the time to actually plan it out. Oh, totally. Totally. That's exactly what's happening. There's going to be a day, and it's going to be soon, where someone is just going to make it, like, Actually, no, it's already happened. Like, M. Night Shyamalan, he's made his own connected universe. Mm-hmm. Spoilers. I haven't even seen the movie, but spoilers. You know, so someone's going to do like he's done, make a completely original one. It's just going to keep growing and growing. And you're probably going to get, like, so you have the big two, but I don't ever see it being a large studio. Like, each studio has their own one sort of thing. I mean, God but. knows they want to, but they can't get it done. I mean, Fox can't even get it done. Like... And they're like the second up. Like they're literally the second place. And you look at them, you're like, that's a shared universe, huh? Yeah, I don't count the Fox movies as a shared universe. Because they're all... I suppose they kind of are, but they all they all seem like sequels to each other. Yeah. Whereas like, you look at Marvel, they are franchise blocks that come into one. Whereas right. X-Men, just X-Men, X-Men, X-Men. I mean, you could say maybe Deadpool is a franchise. You probably know it, but... I don't know. That's just how I've seen it anyway. It's like... Yeah. That's, that's I, a I where you're coming from. Is the shared universe we have. Yep. Well, that's that for shared universe.